All right, what's going on? Welcome back. We're playing some more Mario Kart. Here we go. Grand Prix, 100 CC. We are going to be using them. Kamek, Kamek, uh, whatever the hell you pronounce her fucking name doesn't matter. Oh, look, they have the uh, other Mercedes here. Sure, why not? We'll use that one. It's pretty slow compared to the other one. That's uh, interesting. All right, let's see here. We're gonna be using all well, these tires are ass. We're gonna be using that one. Using that, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and go to. Let's go to the boomerang. Boomerang cup. Here we go. Damn. All right. What are you doing, dude? These cats, dude, I swear, man. They like clean themselves everywhere. Bangkok. Bangkok. Ooh. All right, guys, go bang some cock. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's Fresno's Mercedes and have a chuck engine light. Well, damn water. That's shocking. You know, speaking of cars. I don't trust any manufacturer anymore. I. It's hard to trust a car company. Then again, you really shouldn't trust a car company. I know many people get attached to their cars and stuff like that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Especially for like the classics and antiques and stuff like that, but. Modern cars. I just don't trust them. It's hard to trust them. Why? Most of them are just unreliable. They'll screw you over. Heck, trusting your car, you might as well trust the salesperson. Then again, you can't, you can't trust them either. They're there to make money. I feel like many people forget about that. They're there to sell you a car, not to become your best friend. I mean, I get you can, I guess, develop some sort of like close relationship with your salesperson, but... Take this from me, folks. I used to work at a car dealership. And you, you get to see some crazy stuff going on behind the scenes. Trust me, man. Some stuff that you'd be like, wow. So that's what really happens. Yep. It's tragic, honestly. Like, if I were to buy a car, I want it to be like the most simple, most basic model you got. I don't care about the electric windows. Hell, I fucking roll those shit down like in those old cars with the little handle. I'll <laughs> roll that shit down. Uh, anything that's like electronic, I don't want it. I don't care about the Bluetooth. I don't care about the entertainment system. I don't care about Apple CarPlay or whatever. I don't care about none of that stuff. Don't care about the seat warmers, automatic like rear or hatch door trunk door light up like you know the whole like trim line that lights up i don't give a fuck about any of that i want like the most basic car you got on the lot the most you'll ever catch me spending on like, spending on a new car from the dealership is probably 20 grand heck probably even less at that point i don't think i even want a car i'll just save up my money my job is like close enough i'll take my bike I'll freaking cycle my way to work. Just imagine how much gas I'll be earning. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. I'll be in good shape though, being on that bike every single day. So I mean, I guess there's a pro and con to everything, but I'll tell you what, I'll be earning a lot on that car insurance. Plus that, damn. They can't repo your bike. I'll tell you that right now. Imagine you wake up one day, your bike's not there. 
Sir, you missed your last payment on your bike. What do you mean? It's not even insured. It's, it's, it's a freaking bike. Well, sir. The hell was that? Well, that's Siri. What the hell? What's going on? I think my series has been hacked. Oh damn, those Goombas just died. Oh, never mind, they just spawned in. <sighs> it's crazy, man. Crazy life we live in. I like the vibe when you go through that tunnel. It's a pretty cool vibe. Like the sun's rays through the pine trees and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, what a shock. No! Yeah. Got blocked. No! Oh man. Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic. What the heck? What the hell just happened? Did I just finesse the blue shell? I'm probably like the first person in history to finesse that thing. I guess the bomb made it like not affect me because I guess the bomb blew up at the same time as the blue shell. What the heck? I am lost for words. That's new. I'll take it. Time to take this shit off. Oh, man. Waluigi Stadium. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn, it's already the third race. I'm like pushing through these real quick. This does not look like mud. It kind of looks suspicious. It's too detailed. If that makes any sense. Oh, they added some tires there. That's dumb. Have those tires always been there. I don't remember those tires ever being there. Also, those ramps up there. I don't remember those being up there either. Oh, they switched it up too much, man. GameCube. Mario Kart Double Dash. Speaking of Mario Kart Double Dash, I actually have that game. I don't have it for the GameCube. I never owned a GameCube, but I remember uh, finding out that my Wii could play GameCube games. And I uh, only have like three games on GameCube. One of them is a Jimmy Neutron game, which I think I made a video on. I'm not really sure. It's so old it's lost somewhere in the archives at this point but i don't think i did did i i don't remember and i do have mario kart double dash i think that's the the three or two games i'm not really sure i think i have two games or three i don't remember but yeah i don't really have that many games but i do have the memory card still with me I still own it i still have everything so once we do get to the wii I will be playing some Mario Kart Double Dash to um, give you guys some more gameplay on that. But I think that's going to be once I'm done with GTA. Like I said, man, 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and finish Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Finish this game. After this, go back to the Xbox and finish all the Call of Duty campaigns. Then after that, I'll play Grand Theft Auto 4. That's gonna be a while. That's gonna be a long ass game. That game's like easily like maybe half the length of Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, it's a pretty long game. Plus it's DLC, so it's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be one game I have to be focused on for the remainder of the playthrough. After that, I'll go back and play any other game that I wanted to record, any other series, games I'm saving up for an actual series. And then after that, it's gonna be Wii games. And it's gonna be a lot of content, folks, so subscribe. One more race. Damn, it's already 11.45. It's been already like an hour I've been recording. Holy crap. Time flies, man. When you're having so much fun, it's like, where in the hell does the time go? But when you're at work and you check the freaking time, you know, five minutes go by, you go back and check within like a minute. It's 10.45. Like, now we're back. <laughs> like, what? It's like, it's so from losing, just from like looking at the time, you lose like one hour penalty, and it goes back. Like, hey, bruh. Damn, that'd be brutal. All right, this map does not look familiar to me. Is this from Mario Kart Tour? I did not really read the description. I should have. Oh, I, hang on, I know where this building's at. It's in um. Malaysia? Am I right or wrong? It's gotta be Malaysia, right? I think I'm right. We'll find out after this race. I'll look it up. No! So Malaysia features the Petrona Towers, right? That one, those two buildings are like twins and have like that little section in, in between them where you can cross them. It's gotta be Malaysia. If I don't, then I have to uninstall. I'm gonna have to uninstall Minecraft due to my poor architecture knowledge. Pretty cool though. And we're done. All right, let's look it up real quick. Malaysia boat building? I don't know. I don't know what it's really called, I'm being honest. <laughs> boat building. That makes a lot of sense. Images. What the hell am I looking at? That's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at literally boat bullying. Boat on top tower. There's the Patronus Towers. Oh, yeah. Kaulam Lumpur? 
I'm probably mispronouncing that big time, but. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's in Singapore. Damn, I completely butchered that. Singapore. My bad. That was in Malaysia. Honest mistake. Where is... Now I gotta get my geography correct here. I don't know what I'm looking at. Alright, perfect. How far off was I? Where's Malaysia at? Oh, so it's not that far. It's in, yeah, it is in Malaysia. Dude, my geography sucks ass. Holy shit. And it's just like s south of um, where that uh, Kuala Lumpur, basically south of where that um, two Patronus Towers are at, or southeast, going towards, uh, I'm, I'm going to mispronounce all this. But yeah, it's there. It's in Singapore. Cool. Anyways, folks, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, feel free to roast me down in the comments below for not knowing my geography and my knowledge on architecture. But it's alright. Uh, knowledge is always earned. You can never buy knowledge. It's always earned. I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, you guys take care. Peace out.